So what are we doing here today then, Joseph? Oh, we're here to demonstrate for justice for cleaners because uh, the mayor has just passed the cleaners to another contractor. And, and with all the promises that he did promise, none of the promises have been fulfilled. So we are so disgusted and disappointed about the behavior of Sadiq Khan. That's why we're here to demonstrate. We've spoken to the contractors about uh, the way we, we are unhappy about the whole thing. And we asked them whether the mayor did put a slice of bread on the table for the cleaners. And they said no. And he, they said, well, because they said no, say, okay, if that's the case, we'll take our case to the mayor. And they say, ah, we've just taken the contract not long ago, and you are going to demonstrate. And so it has got nothing to do with you. What we're going to do here is because the mayor promised and, for, uh, uh, and failed to keep his promise. That is where we're going there. If you have something against you, we would have come to your office. We wouldn't have gone to the mayor. So let's go to the mayor and hear what the mayor says. And if the mayor says that the, the problem is with you, we will come to your office here and also demonstrate. And until somebody tell us the truth, we are not going to stop. Because at the end of the day, we are not prepared to stay in this situation for the next 10 years. Because something must change. Because at the end of the day, we know that there is so much money involved. Right now, you've given cleaners a high V, which has an indication um, in partnership with TFL. And I want to ask you, uh, is the cleaners enjoying the same benefits of underground staff? But so what is the partnership that you're talking about? What is the partnership you're talking about? I said right now you're giving the cleaners a highway which makes them too conspicuous to hide. And for that matter, they are giving service to customers because everybody noticed them quickly and come to them and ask for service, for help to go into their destinations. And they give them the service happily. But that is a service that they're giving which is not part of their job description. And that is all, that service is all going down for free. And you're taking advantage of the, the good service of cleaners. And you haven't got a proper mechanism in place to assess our wealth. But at the end of the day, the cleaners are working laboriously every single day, hard to keep the stations, the depots, and the litter, litter picking the trains and all that to keep sure that, to make sure that the, the stations are kept hazard free. So you, do you know, you know very well that the cleaners are saving you money more than any other person down there. But yet you are taking advantage of the cleaners all the time just because you can exploit them? No. At the end of the day, we, we are not prepared to, to take in that. We've had enough. And so for that matter, we're going to come here every, every time, consistently, persistently, and insistently until we get what we want. If not, we are not going to stop. Whoever is holding the truth must come out with the truth. It is with the mayor, it is with the contractors, we will get it. But, but we're not going to stop. But thank God for the union, because the union has helped the cleaners for, for a very long time, and we appreciate that very much. Because the cleaners' voice sang to a pathetic whisper, and there was nobody to come to our aid until the, the union emerged. So we joined the union because we know very well that if we are not with the union, if we're not with the union, we're not going to get anything. And unity is strength. That is why we're standing here. And we will make sure that we get what we want. Because there is no sick pay for a cleaner. There is no uh, free travel. Because the, the, the police are traveling the train for free, the senior citizens are traveling the train for free, a, tra a, a, a London underground staff, whether a supervisor or a mechanic or whoever gets the job today, and his or her spouse is sitting at home traveling the train for free. Yet the cleaner who comes to clean the trains every day, making sure that they're absolutely immaculately clean to make sure that people who are traveling on those trains to uh, Canary Wharf and City Hall and wh wherever they go with their political suit, which is uh, costing them 5000 15000 it doesn't get soiled. It's all down to the cleaners, but yet nobody takes it, appreciate the cleaners. And we have to appreciate ourselves by raising our voice. We cannot stay aloof and concerned for people to keep dying down there because they cannot afford to go sick. That is not the, the world we want, because we want to leave this world a better place. We, we are fighting to make sure that things change. I have not met one single person who wants to leave the world the way he met it. We all want a better world for, for somebody to come and inherit tomorrow. Thank you very much.